There is a group of arrogant morons who blindly believe in fairy tales without any evidence, but when you use facts and evidence to prove that their fairy tales are a lie, they will throw out logic so they can hold on to these fairy tales, and that group of people is called atheists. For atheists, science fiction theories are their religion, and they believe anything a person in a white lab coat says, and you just point out facts, like how cells, atoms, and germs are all just theories, they will get violently angry because you are questioning what their book says, but you're just pointing out that you cannot prove that any of those things exist. So in this video, I'm going to debunk all these atheist lies that these pseudoscientists use our tax dollars to push on our children in public schools, starting out with the Big Bang that was created by a Catholic priest to prove that God exists because you cannot take nothing and create something. There had to be something to create something because in a vacuum of nothingness, there will just be nothingness forever. But let's say that these two elements magically broke the laws of physics. Now you have these two elements. How did they get pushed into each other and it fucking exploded and made fucking bunnies and sunflowers and rainbows because there had to be something there to push these elements into each other because Newton's law of motion says that something in rest cannot be moved unless something was there to push it and that something was God. Elements... <laughs> Elements like gold disprove the Big Bang Theory because there is no chemical reaction that can make gold. So how could the Big Bang, which was a giant chemical reaction, make gold when it is impossible for any chemical reaction to make gold? Not to mention that the Big Bang is impossible because we live on a flat realm covered by the firmament. The way the atheist copes with being proven wrong is not to admit that they were wrong, but to prolong this fairy tale by making up another lie and they'll just say, well, the Big Bang is wrong, but maybe everything has just always existed and has just been changing over time. Not only is this fairy tale illogical to believe that something does not have a beginning, but it is also provably wrong. We can observably prove that nothing is changing from water levels that have been exactly the same for over a century. We can use photos to prove this, and we can use maps to prove that the waters have never changed. We also know that stars' constellations are consistently exactly the same every night, and also our sun is on a set track, it never changes, is consistently moving at the same rate every year. We can prove that things like caves did not slowly form over time because we find helium in crystals which would have immediately been released if these caves had slowly been formed over time. And we see caves appear very quickly from sinkholes which can happen within 10 seconds. 
We can prove that the Earth is not billions of years old because the rate that crystals grow and the rate that diamonds release carbon do not add up to billions of years because there would be crystals the size of skyscrapers and there would be diamonds that have no carbon and diamonds that have tons of carbon, but that's not the case. The crystals are very small and all the diamonds basically have the same amount of carbon, which leads me to believe that the earth is only 6,000 years old. An atheist will say, what about carbon dating? Carbon dating has been proven to be inaccurate multiple times. It once guessed that lava from a volcano that erupted 200 years ago was billions of years old and also guessed that a seal that had just died was 1300 years old. Carbon dating always overestimates the age and never underestimates the age, which makes me believe that this whole carbon dating scam was just created to push the old earth lie. The way that atheists believe life came into existence is the most preposterous because they believe that a rock gained consciousness and then grew eyes, ears, and the ability to breastfeed somehow magically. Now, rocks have never been observed coming to life, but this is what they believe. Without any evidence, they put their faith in this lie. Atheists will say that after this rock magically came to life, that it formed into what it is now through evolution, which is a theory and not a fact because it has never been observed. And we can use bones of dead animals and match them to bones of animals now, and they are identical. Even the animals at the bottom of the food chain do not evolve because they can't. Their purpose is to be at the bottom of the food chain. And even people, we did not gain the ability to survive freezing temperatures. No, we built houses and built heaters and that is how we survived. I know there are a lot of irrational atheists who will still blindly believe that they are monkeys even though it is impossible, but if you are a logical, rational person, after watching this video, you should do what Charles Darwin, the leader of atheism himself, did and convert to Christianity.